Hey y'all, I'm Yuan, and welcome back to Yuan Scullery, where today we'll be learning about how to make nasi biryani, because, well, who doesn't love themselves some nasi biryani? Anyway, the ingredients you'll need will be found in the description of the video, so do not miss out on that if you want to prepare the same delicious dish, and alas, we go. So, as I begin showing the ingredients that will be added to the rice cooker later on, we will be needing two star anises, one cinnamon stick, two curry leaf branches, I don't know, apparently it's normal to put in the brunch too. So that, let's just throw them in, a pan and leaf cut in half, and a cardamom seed. I'm personally not using a lot of ingredients because only three people are going to eat these, so feel free to double or even triple the measurements. So the next thing you've got to do is wash the rice. I'm washing it really weirdly because I'm by no means a professional, but as you're watching me wash the rice, let me tell you a brief history of nasi biryani, which obviously did not start in Malaysia and surprisingly did not begin in India either. However, it began in Persia from the word birian, which means rice before cooking, and birinj, the Persian word for rice. While there are multiple theories about how biryani made its way to India, it is generally accepted that it originated in West Asia. One of the few legends are about how the Turk-Mongol conqueror Timur brought the precursor of the biryani with him when he arrived at the frontiers of India in 1398. Believed to be the war campaign diet of his army, when whatever meat and spices could be found were buried in a hot pit before being eventually dug up and served to the warriors. Isn't it interesting that it's culturally accepted that they cooked in hot pits, whereas people have evolved to using pots and rice cookers today? What would Uncle Roger think? <laughs> and as India has adapted it, different locations now have their own special features to their biryani. And as Indians have migrated out of India into nations such as Malaysia, Singapore, and nations all over the world, the continuation of the existence of this beautiful dish is now widespread. I love it, you love it, and we all love it. You know, the first time I had nasi biryani, I was mortified because of how many spices we put in the rice. So much so that all my rice was stuck into the spices. Then I'd accidentally bite on the cardamom seed, and oh my gosh, the taste. Still live for it though. Anyway, look how fluffy it is. <laughs> Sweetheart, hey. 